All right, we're here at the old corner bookstore um, in the central part of the city. Apparently, there's a quest um, giver here, so let's see if we can find him. And despite his critics, Thomas was widely believed to be the greatest American patriot of all time. Fucking oh my God, this is it. Nerd. This is what I've been looking for. Fucking nerd. We do it, you nerd. Reading books. Hi. Button Gwinnett, who are you? I'm the nerd puncher. I'm a puncher face and tell me who you are. Just here exploring your money or your life. Sorry. Uh, just here exploring. I'm just exploring. Looking for salvage. Salvage? Here? Oh, not that I'm calling you a liar or anything. <laughs> I mean, you have the gun, so you're in charge of what's real. But there are some really important things in here. Historical things. Those are the best kind, right? I guess, you nerd. Um... Anything I can do to help out? Holy tricorn hats, do you mean it? I'd be glad to help. Great. So according to this receipt, there's more where this document came from. It was bought from a caravan that was spotted around the city selling Patriot memorabilia. Problem is, I don't have the Roosevelts to go there myself. But you, you look like a regular Minuteman. I'm sure you'll do fine. Patriots. Check outside University Point for clues about the missing caravan. Let's go find some books, or some documents. Tuna fish. Oh, God. What? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on here? Oh, oh this is awesome. They're football players. Hey. Logan, not understand. Black 59 Razor. Why run deep up? Sorry, these guys are getting fucking shot at. Oh, Jesus. Who's throwing? Alright, okay, okay, who is throwing? Jesus. Audrey, is that you throwing those things? Come on. Chill out. All right, I'm sorry. Before we were interrupted. Rogan, not understand. Black 59 Razor. Why run deep post when enemy blitz? What are you talking? That's a mouse. Is something the matter? What are you talking about? Football. Rogan talk about football. But Rogan tired of talking. He want to smash! <laughs> You're an idiot. What's your name? Skinny man call me Grogan. Of the famous nuke tosser. Come, you meet him now. I'm gonna meet a skinny man, a skinny man, a skinny man. I'm gonna meet a skinny man. Look at your pants. You got some big old pants, you got some grandpa pants, pants it be pants, ba da ba da, pants it pants, what's it gonna do, run around with a football, or a mini nuke? Skinny man lives in the basement, he's just slender man, I get murdered. <gasps> oh! Now if you look at this play. What we're trying to get is a seal here, and a seal here, so we can run right through the alley between. But Gronk no understand. Why run from enemy? Why not kill and eat him? For the last time, Gronk, that's what we call unnecessary roughness. Remember, violence isn't the point. It's simply a means to score points. Now that's all for today. I want you to think about what you learned and how you'd use it on the field. Don't you do, don't look at me. Fuck yourself. Hey. We don't get much in the way of visitors down here. Can I help you with something? Is yes. Missing care of uh, uh what the hell's going on? So who are you? The mutants call me skinny, like I'm some kind of fat man repellent. <laughs> That's how most of them think. You're either strong or weak. Fat or skinny. Mutant of food. My real name's Bill. But you try telling that to them. 
See how far that gets you. Hey, idiots, his name is Bill. Ask for help. What's going on here? What's going on here? Well, I was trying to teach these boys how to execute a power sweep. But most of what I teach them goes in one ear and out the fist. It's like how Eskimos have 20 different words for cold. Well, super mutants only got two words. Eat and kill. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Well, if you're talking about Brady's bandwagon, it's not missing. I'm all that's left. See, back in the day, me and this musician used to go from town to town, playing fight songs and teaching kids how to play football. Now I teach these galoots instead. Who's this friend of yours? What happened to him? Oh, Raiders got him. After he died, I kept at it for a couple more years. But calling it Brady's bandwagon wasn't the same without Brady or the band. Then, a few months back, I got nabbed by a gang of super mutants. They thought I was supplying a gunner that had been giving them trouble, but they got confused when none of the nukes in my wagon actually blew anything up. Yes, human has strange power. He catches nukes, but no boom. Yeah, no boom. I don't think they realize these nukes are just empty shells. I just use them because they're shaped like footballs. When I tried to explain it, a couple of them got curious, and I've been teaching them the game ever since. When we master football, we will know how to stop the fat man. <laughs> we will catch all the nukes. <laughs> Super mutant logic. Gotta love it. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Can you help? Look, if you're here because my old partner sold you some bogus memorabilia, I had nothing to do with it. Ever since I showed him that letter, my partner Brady tried to pass himself off as Touchdown Tom, the greatest New England Patriot who ever lived. But the truth is, he didn't know a sack from a fumble. And now he's dead. Here, take this. It's a sports almanac. It'll tell you, Touchdown Tom died long before the war. Unless he's a, uh, ghoul. I don't have any more questions. All right. You meet any mutants who want to learn the game, send them my way. Hmm. All right, it's pretty interesting. Go away, bleeder. Skinny man make it so nuke no explode. Not sure how, but it stop going boom. Gronk no, because he spike one. Go away, bleeder. Grogan have trouble reading defense. Probably because he not know how to read. Probably. Season starts tomorrow morning. I can't wait to fully commit my energy and emotion to focus on the challenges. I want to thank everyone for the support they've given me throughout this challenging experience. I also want to thank Judge Batman and his staff for their efforts to resolve this matter over the past five weeks. I'm very grateful. My thanks also to the union's legal team who has fought Batman so hard right along with me. I look forward to the competition, the playing field, and I hope the attention of the fans can return to where it belongs. Most importantly, I look forward to being a New England Patriot from now until the end of time. Nice. Touchdown, Tom. Show Clarissa the um, I Return to Clarissa with your findings. Is there anything else that Clarissa would want? Some soap, maybe? Clarissa, you want some soap? Hmm? No? Okay. Okay, come on, sir. Go away, bleeder! Go away, bleeder! Alright, uh, find the almanac. Hi, hi, hi. You're back! Let me guess, you found a biographical tome? Or, ooh, ooh, some kind of colonial diary. That would be even better. Yeah, probably Don't keep me in suspense. You have something, right? Yeah, I don't think you're, like, gonna like it. Uh, give Almanac, sorry, lie and give her the letter. Show Almanac and letter. Uh, sort of? It's complicated. Here. What do you mean, sort of? Let me see what you got there. It's a letter. This looks promising. But according to this Almanac, Touchdown Tom was a football player? You mean the greatest American patriot was just some dumb jock? Which also means that this whole chase was one big waste of time. It's that cherry tree story all over again. I'm gonna need some time to digest this. But here, 
as promised your payment. Plus a little something extra. Won't be needing it now that I know it's worthless. Historically, anyway. You ruined Clarissa's whole life. <laughs> Uh, where's this ring? Championship ring. Oh. Got my championship ring on. One of my things. There it is. It's under my glove. Sorry I ruined everything for you, Clarissa. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Okay, so Thomas turned out to be a nobody. But that just gives me appreciation for people like John Zubli. A real hero that shouldn't be forgotten. John Zubli is a fast food connoisseur, everyone. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Actually, I have no idea. It could be someone. All right. So, it's raining. Twizzlers. And we are going to check out... I think there's a quest at Railroad HQ. We're going to go there. Somewhat. The best part about being sin? Mm, I hope to God you the never have to discuss religion. Here. Hard to well, kneel to a creator so. when he's in the next room scratching himself. Hey there, champ. Here to help with the resistance? Sure, R2D2. And you are? And you are? My code name's 404. I guess you could say it's the area code I was born in. Your role? So, what do you do here? I'm what you call a heavy. When a situation calls for muscle, it's my job to flex it. Anything you want to talk about? As much as I'd like to say in chat, I've hung out here long enough. With everything that's going on, we need more agents in the field. How bad is it? How bad's the situation out there? Pam's the psychic. Ask her. Me? I try not to think too far ahead. If life's taught me anything, you never know when you're gonna have to start over. Are you gonna be alright? Are you worried about me? I'll be all right. I was there when the Lone Wanderer took back the Jefferson Memorial. Who? So I've seen this episode before. This is just a rerun. Uh, if you're heading out, why not come with me? You know, that makes a lot more sense than going out alone. And I'm sure Des wouldn't mind if he had some backup. All right, let's go. So, are you staying with me, statue? Are you both coming with me? All right, I had an unlimited companion mod on, and it always messes up, so I, I disabled it. And that's Excuse me. Talk. I followed the Freedom Trail to get here, just like you. Wow. To be honest, I forgot half a code, not to mention the order. Luckily, I'm really good at Junior Jumble. So, anything you want to talk about? As much as I'd like, to, oh with everything. That's... If you're heading out, why not come with me? You know. All right, let's go. All right, thank God. Okay. Yes. Glad you got that prototype. Yeah. We lost the... Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have to build up goodwill with her. I don't know what build, builds up goodwill, but I guess we'll uh, figure something out. Um, apparently there's a quest near the Marlboro, Marlboro House. I think it's northwest of the Swan area. Oh. Wait, you did what? I had to. The site's the only way we're gonna find it. God damn it, Derek. I told you to stop feeding him that poison. Better this than a fucking bullet, because that's what's gonna happen if we don't find that map. The library. The map isn't a picture, it's... it's a book. But I can only see one passage. Something about a shot heard around the world. You see? A fucking book! There's no way we would've known that otherwise. Dad, never mind the map. Are you okay? I'm fine, son. But you should hurry. He's right. We should leave right now. Now. One of us is gonna stay here and look after Dad. I can watch your dumb dad. Wanna watch your dumb dad? Yeah? Hey, sorry I had to see that. Are you a traitor or looking for work? You, you in trouble? I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. Then you've come to the right place. I need someone for a scav job. Hundred caps up front, and another hundred when the job is done. They gotta be quick about it, though. I got a feeling we don't have much time. I gotta get another book? What are you looking for? A map that takes us to the Great Green Jewel. 
A real one, the kind you can hold in your hand. The only lead we have, though, is that one passage, a shot heard around the world. Is the situation that bad? Yeah, my dad's been using the site to help us track down this map, but it's been killing him. I'll be okay. It's the least I can do considering <laughs> the situation. Yeah, your eyes. Yeah, now that's the other side of all this. My brother. He's, uh, racked up some debts. The kind you pay in money, or you pay in blood. I get you some buckets of blood if you need. Okay. I'll help you. Good. I'll meet you outside the Copley Station entrance. That'll get us to the library. Alright, cool. I'm not long for this world, but my boys. Please save them. My boys. <clears throat> it's the process, not the result that matters. I had a good process. I didn't gamble away my money like some idiots. My boys. Save my boys. One of them has put us in this situation. Save them. Oh, you fucked the door up, didn't you? Good job messing the door up, dumbass. Yeah. Have a dumbass helping my boys. Shut up. Shut up, Grab. Like I said, I'll meet you at Copley Station. We find the map, and we go from there. All right. There he goes. Real, real slow. I'm gonna find a chair and sit down in it. Okay, so the, it's just the station and the library. Good, you're here. Be on your guard, I heard this place is crawling with green skins. Adore. Yep. <laughs> you're a little bit, a little bit 100% correct about that. Yep. Yep, a dups. I don't know what R two D two likes. Damn mutants! We'll be lucky if they didn't use our book for kindling. I don't know if she likes hacking. I'm gonna have to hack him. Oh! Bad day with you, bad guys. Going up. Yeah. Welcome to the Boston Public Library. The library. The library. Oh God! Shut up. All right. Look around to make sure the area is clear. I'm gonna check that terminal and see where the book is. Oh. Find the newspaper. Am I? According to this, there's three references to a shot heard around the world. We're looking for a newspaper, a history book, and a holiday. What you doing? You doing your dance? Do when you dance. Gonna win the limbo contest. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Win a limbo contest. All right, so obviously this place is cleared out. We blew up the other turret and nothing happened. Oh no. 
crap. Okay, he's over there. Our quest giver is just nonchalantly. Alright. The f <laughs> do, 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 do. What is going on? <laughs> walking on the other side of the world. Walking on the other side of the world. Hey, I'm trying to sing a song about your dumb brother. Walking on the other side of the world. I can see everything. Oh, walking on the other side of the world. Walking on the other side of the world. Walking on the other side of the world. Just living my life. Living my life. Oh, walking on the other side of the world. Walking on the other side. Oh! Walking on the other side, side of the world. Now it's just done, now the story ends, there's no way to tell it, the art of fiction is dead, reality is strangled uh, invention, only the utterly impossible, the inexpressibly fantastic can never be plausible. It's being held by many as the shot heard around the world. Whatever moniker history gives it, it's safe to say Bobby Thompson's home run will be remembered for a very long time. Oddly enough, the fan who caught hail is not from Brooklyn or New York, but from Boston and plans to sell the item, okay. So we got three of them. I'm sure there's more. There's another shot around the world. I found this in the ruins. This. Great, although now we got a new problem. There's three shots heard around the world, but we don't have time for all of them. The trick is convincing the people who want to kill us that it's the Great Green Jewel. Who are these people? Who are these people? A bunch of folks my brother was in business with. Commonwealth people who love Boston and want to see it thrive. The project was based around fixing up some of the housing around Diamond City. But the Greenskins came and put an end to all that. And now everyone wants their money back, and uh, we've no way to pay them. Where should I begin? Well, uh, I don't know. For the baseball, it's the easy answer. But it's not actually green. Nobody save Mo Cronin would get a connection. The poem is about the Commonwealth. That's important. And it even mentions a stone. But I don't know if they'll appreciate the metaphor. The ring might be the safest bet, seeing as it's an actual green jewel. But there's nothing great about it. It might be a hard sell either way, no matter what we choose. What do you think we should do? The only thing we can do roll the dice. Best thing to do is to grab one of those jewels and uh, hope it's enough. But I need you to get that without me. Truth is, the deadline's already passed about an hour ago and I'm worried about my pops. I'm gonna head back home and see if I can stall him. In the meantime, you find that jewel, any jewel, and bring it back. Alright. So we have three jewels we can choose. It's ready. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Is there an auction here, or what the hell is going on? Just a second. Oh, now you give me the other ones. Son of a bitch. That's the auction house. Well, it's probably yeah. this one, because this is the actual shot around. Eyes open. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> Stop. Wait. Let me reload. Okay. Oh my god, I shot him so much he came back to life. Concord him by Ralph Waldo. Okay. Can I get the other ones or no? Oh man. Oh man. Let's, let's hack and see if she likes hacking. Yes. You like it when I hack things? Hacking terminals and robots is all magic to me. But, okay, sure. Alright, just gotta hack some terminals. 
that's how you win this lady's heart. Just hack the world, hack the planet. It's great. Brennan, enough stalling. You have the money or not? I'm telling you, he'll be here. With the jewel. I got it. The great green jewel, huh? Yes. This better be worth it. I got the jewel. We're about to find out. You, it's a hey, you made it. Thank God. Let's hope this works. Here you go. Yeah? The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. The shot heard round the world. Hold on. Yeah? Is this the Concord hymn? That's right. It's a poem about the revolution and the city of Boston. You I don't know have time what for screwing it is. around. You're either here and to help I know or you're in what the way. it's worth. In this condition, I'd say it's about 2,500 caps. You're gonna have to do better. Persuade. Come on. It's worth more to you than that. No, it's really not. There's no way to tell if I can find a buyer. You're just lucky I'm the type who appreciates a genuine piece of Commonwealth history. So that leaves you 500 caps short, Brennan. Not a lot of money, but from the look on your face, it might be too much. I'm not a heartless woman. I'll give you some time to say goodbye. Can I just give her the fucking money? Oh. Now what? Where are we gonna find that kind of money? Calm down. Getting angry won't do us any good. Besides, it's not how I want to spend our last day. Don't give up. This isn't over, not by a long shot. Why don't you come over here and say that? Hey. Lady, let me talk to you. Lady. 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 Well, go fuck yourself. All right. Oh. Don't worry, I can help. Here. You do that? I don't know what to say. Perhaps we can start by kid. saying thank you. His little brother Derek. More trouble. You all than shut the f Jesus. Granite. He isn't worth much. All right. Thank you to me. <clears throat> My brother's got his own way of showing gratitude. Don't take it personal. I'm not giving up on developing more housing. Diamond City simply isn't big enough to hold everything. Thank you for yeah. saving my sons. My boys. You saved my boys. 